Welcome everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about something that has the power to transform not just moments, but entire lives. It's the cornerstone of success, the secret ingredient that colors our experiences, shapes our journeys, and defines our legacy. I'm talking about attitude, specifically developing a winning attitude. Think about this for a moment. Life is a series of events, like a string of pearls. Each event is neutral until we color it with our attitude. It's not the events of our lives that shape us, but our beliefs as to what those events mean. A winning attitude, then, is about seeing the glass as half full, finding opportunities and obstacles, and understanding that our greatest setbacks are often disguised as our most significant opportunities. Now, what's Clear the air about what a winning attitude is not. It's not about wearing rose-colored glasses or dismissing challenges. Rather, it's an inner conviction, a mindset that says, I can navigate through this, learn from this, and emerge stronger. It's about facing life with the courage to stand firm in the storm and the resilience to smile through the rain. Consider the difference between an oak and a willow. The oak stands rigid, often breaking under strong winds, while the willow bends and sways, remaining intact. A winning attitude is like the willow, flexible, adaptable, resilient. It's about bending but not breaking under the weight of life's challenges. This attitude is a choice, a deliberate cultivation of a mindset that seeks out the silver lining in every dark cloud. It's about choosing to focus on solutions rather than problems, progress instead of perfection. It's understanding that while we may not control every event that happens to us, we absolutely control how we respond to these events. So, as we embark on this journey today, remember that developing a winning attitude is not a destination. It's a continuous journey, a daily practice. It's about making small, consistent choices that gradually shape our worldviews, influence our actions, and ultimately determine the course of our lives. In the words of a wise person, the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Let's cast aside those doubts and step forward with a winning attitude that paves the way for success, happiness, and fulfillment. Let's begin this journey together, exploring how we can cultivate this powerful mindset, one that can turn adversity into opportunity, despair into hope, and dreams into reality. As we move forward in our discussion, let's gently shift our focus to a deeper understanding of attitude. It's a term we often hear, but what does it truly mean? Attitude is not just a mental position regarding facts or state. It's the very backbone of our every action and reaction. It's that invisible force that shapes our entire life experience. Let's picture attitude as the architect of our personal world. Just as an architect draws plans that determine the structure of a building, our attitude shapes the structure of our life experiences. It dictates how we interpret and respond to life's events. Two people can face the same situation but their attitudes can lead them down vastly different paths. One sees a setback, the other an opportunity. It's the same situation, just viewed through different lenses. Now consider the power choice in this context. We often can't choose what happens to us, but we can choose our attitude towards what happens. It's this choice that determines whether an obstacle becomes a stepping stone or a stumbling block. This is the essence of a winning attitude, choosing to find that silver lining, no matter how hidden it may seem. But how do we cultivate such an attitude? It starts with self-awareness, knowing ourselves, our tendencies, our default reactions allows us to catch ourselves when we're slipping into negativity. It's like being a gardener in the garden of your mind, carefully tending to your thoughts, weeding out the negative ones and nurturing the positive ones. 
A winning attitude also requires a firm belief in oneself. It's about trusting your journey, believing in your capabilities, and understanding that you are the captain of your ship. This belief isn't about arrogance. It's about a quiet confidence that comes from knowing that you have the power to shape your life. Another key aspect is resilience. Life, as we know, is not a straight path. It's filled with ups and downs, twists and turns. A winning attitude embraces these as part of the journey, learning from each experience, growing stronger with each challenge. It's about bouncing back, not giving up, and knowing that every setback is setting the stage for a comeback. Let's also consider the role of positivity. This doesn't mean ignoring life's difficulties, but rather choosing to focus on solutions rather than problems, on hope rather than despair. It's about seeing the glass half full, knowing that even in the darkest moments, there is light to be found. Empathy and understanding play a significant role too. A winning attitude is not just about how we view ourselves, but also how we view and treat others. It's about understanding that everyone has their struggles and that kindness can make all the difference. It's about extending a hand, offering a word of encouragement, and being that positive force in someone else's life. This not only uplifts others, but also enriches our own lives, creating a cycle of positivity and goodwill. Moreover, a winning attitude involves embracing change. Change is constant and how we respond to it shapes our journey. It's about being adaptable, open to new ideas and ready to step out of our comfort zones. It's in these moments of change that we often find our greatest growth. Patience is another cornerstone of a winning attitude. Things don't always happen as quickly as we'd like and dreams don't materialize overnight. Patience means understanding that every step, no matter how small, is a step towards our goal. It's about enjoying the journey, not just the destination. Gratitude also plays a crucial role. It's about appreciating what we have rather than lamenting what we don't. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It brings a sense of satisfaction and peace, which is essential for a positive outlook on life. In essence, developing a winning attitude is about cultivating these qualities and making them a part of who we are. It's a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing process of self-reflection, growth, and learning. Every day presents a new opportunity to strengthen our attitude and, in turn, strengthen our approach to life. As we continue to explore this topic, Let's carry with us the understanding that our attitude is one of the most powerful tools we have. It shapes our perceptions, influences our actions, and ultimately molds our destiny. With a winning attitude, we can turn challenges into opportunities, setbacks into comebacks, and dreams into realities. Let's embrace this journey with an open heart and a determined spirit ready to unlock the full potential of a winning attitude. As we continue our exploration into the realm of attitude, it's fascinating to turn our gaze to the past. History is not just a collection of dates and events. It's a rich tapestry woven with stories of individuals who have demonstrated winning attitudes in the face of adversity. These stories aren't just tales from the past. They are lessons guiding lights that show us the power of a positive, resilient mindset. Take the story of Abraham Lincoln, for example. Here was a man who faced defeat throughout his life. He lost eight elections, failed twice in business, and suffered a nervous breakdown. Yet, he never gave up. Instead, he chose to persevere, driven by a deep belief in his principles and a vision for his country. In 1860, this yielding spirit led him to become one of the most respected presidents of the United States. His journey reminds us that failure isn't the end of the road. It's just a stepping stone to success. Then there's the story of Helen Keller, struck by illness at a young age. She was left blind and deaf. In a world of silence and darkness, she could have succumbed to despair. But with the help of her teacher, Anne Sullivan, Helen embraced her challenges. 
She learned to communicate, went on to college, and became an influential author and speaker. Her life is a testament to the fact that limitations exist only in our mind. Consider also the journey of Thomas Edison. This man, known as one of the greatest inventors, faced numerous failures. His most famous invention, the light bulb, took thousands of attempts before it was successful. Yet he didn't see these as failures. In his words, he found thousands of ways that didn't work, which brought him closer to the way that would. Edison's story is a powerful reminder that perseverance and a positive attitude are key ingredients to success. We must also remember the resilience of Nelson Mandela. Imprisoned for 27 years for fighting against apartheid, he could have emerged with bitterness and vengeance. Instead, he came out with a message of reconciliation and hope, leading his nation towards a path of forgiveness and unity. Mandela's life teaches us the power of forgiveness and the strength of a positive spirit in overcoming even the most daunting challenges. Another inspiring figure is Malala Yousafzai, a young girl from Pakistan who stood up for the right to education in the face of violent opposition. Even after surviving an assassination attempt, she didn't back down. Her unwavering commitment to her cause earned her the Nobel Peace Prize, making her a symbol of courage and the power of a positive attitude in creating change. These historical figures from different times and places all share one common trait, a winning attitude. They faced obstacles, some seemingly insurmountable, yet they chose to respond with resilience, positivity, and determination. Their stories are not just accounts of the past. They are blueprints for our own lives. They show us that no matter what we face, we have the power within us to overcome and succeed. Their lives remind us that uh, winning attitude isn't about never facing difficulties. It's about how we choose to respond to those difficulties. It's about seeing beyond the present challenge, holding on to our vision, and moving forward with unshakable faith and determination. As we reflect on these stories, let's draw inspiration from them. Let's understand that our circumstances do not define us. Our attitudes do. Let's choose to face life with the same courage, resilience, and positivity as these remarkable individuals. In doing so, we honor their legacy and build our own paths to success and fulfillment. To understand what shapes a winning attitude, let's explore its key components. These elements are like the ingredients in a recipe, each one essential, contributing to the overall flavor of success. The first component is positivity. Positivity is not about ignoring life's problems, but about facing them with the right mindset. It's about seeing the glass half full, finding the silver lining in every cloud, and knowing that even in the darkest moments, but this doesn't mean you won't have bad days or feel negative emotions. It means choosing to focus on the good, even when it's hard to find. Next, let's talk about self-belief. Believing in yourself is crucial. It's about trusting your abilities, valuing your own worth and knowing that you are capable of overcoming obstacles and achieving your goal. Self-belief doesn't come from arrogance. It comes from a quiet confidence that you can handle whatever life throws your way. Resilience is another vital component. It's the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to rise after falling, and to keep going when things get tough. Life is full of ups and downs, and resilience is what helps you navigate through them without losing your way. It's about having the grit to persevere even when the odds seem stacked against you. Adaptability plays a key role too. In a world that's constantly changing, being able to adapt is essential. It's about being flexible, open to new ideas, and willing to change course when necessary. Adaptability means not being so rigid in your ways that you can't see new opportunities or learn new things. Empathy and compassion are also part of a winning attitude. It's about understanding and caring for others, recognizing that everyone has their struggles, and choosing kindness. 
This isn't just about being nice. It's about building strong, meaningful relationships that enrich your life and the lives of others. Then there's gratitude, being grateful for what you have, for the people in your life, and for the opportunities you are given, even the small ones, is powerful. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It brings a sense of contentment and peace, which is essential for maintaining a positive outlook. Let's not forget about responsibility. It's about taking charge of your life, owning your choices, and understanding that your decisions have consequences. It's realizing that you are the architect of your fate and accepting the power and responsibility that comes with that. Curiosity and a love for learning are also important. The world is a fascinating place full of wonders and mysteries. Having a desire to learn and grow, to understand more about the world and yourself keeps you moving forward. It keeps your mind active and your spirit young. Courage is undoubtedly a part of this mix. It's about facing your fears, taking risks, and stepping out of your comfort zone. Courage doesn't mean you're not afraid. It means you act despite your fear. It's about standing up for what you believe in, even when it's hard. Lastly, there's integrity. It's about being honest, doing the right thing, even when no one is watching, and staying true to your values. Integrity is the cornerstone of a winning attitude. Without it, nothing else stands. These components, when woven together, create a fabric of character that stands strong against the winds of change and challenge. A winning attitude isn't something you're born with. It's something you develop over time through experiences, through your choices, and through your actions. As we ponder these components, let's remind ourselves that developing a winning attitude is within our reach. It's a conscious choice, a deliberate effort to cultivate these qualities in our lives. Each day offers a new opportunity to strengthen these components, to build ourselves up, and to move one step closer to the person we want to become. So, let's embrace this journey with open hearts and minds, knowing that each step we take in developing these components is a step towards a richer, more fulfilling life. Let's commit to being the best version of ourselves, armed with a winning attitude that can turn dreams into reality. Towards a winning attitude, a crucial step is overcoming negative mindsets. These are the mental barriers that hold us back, the shadows that darken our path to success. Let's explore how we can break free from these chains of negativity. First, it's important to recognize that negative mindsets often stem from our past experiences and the stories we tell ourselves about these experiences. These stories might say, I can't do this, I'm not good enough, or I don't deserve success. But remember, these are just stories, not truths. The power to rewrite these narratives lies within us. One effective way to overcome a negative mindset is to practice mindfulness. This means being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts and feelings, but not overwhelmed by them. It's about observing our negative thoughts without judgment and then gently guiding our mind back to a place of positivity and peace. Another key strategy is to cultivate a habit of positive self-talk. The words we use have immense power. Instead of saying, I can't try, I'll try. Replace it's impossible with it's challenging, but I can overcome it. This shift in language can transform our mindset and open us to new possibilities. Debt to do plays a significant role too. By focusing on what we are grateful for, we shift our attention from what we lack to what we have. This shift in focus can have a profound impact on our overall outlook on life. Each day, take a moment to reflect on the things you're thankful for, no matter how small. Let's also look at the power of surrounding ourselves with positivity. The people we spend time with can influence our mindset. Seek out those who uplift you, encourage you, and believe in you. Their positive energy can help dispel the clouds of negativity. We should also embrace the lessons in our failures. Every setback 
Every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow. Instead of beating ourselves up when things go wrong, let's ask, what can I learn from this? This approach turns failures into stepping stones towards success. Taking care of our physical health is also vital in overcoming a negative mindset. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep can significantly improve our mood and outlook on life. Setting realistic goals and celebrating small victories can also help shift a negative mindset. By setting achievable targets and acknowledging our progress, we reinforce a positive outlook and build confidence in our abilities. Let's not forget the power of service to others. Helping others can provide a new perspective, take us out of our own heads, and make us feel good about ourselves. It's a reminder that we have value and that we can make a positive impact on the world. Lastly, patience is key. Overcoming a negative mindset doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey that requires time, effort, and persistence. Be kind to yourself during this process and recognize that every step forward is progress. One of the most empowering things we can do is to cultivate a winning attitude every day. This isn't a once in a while endeavor. It's a daily commitment, a choice we make each morning when we wake up. Let's explore how we can embed this winning attitude into the fabric of our daily lives. It begins the moment we open our eyes each morning. How we start our day often sets the tone for the hours that follow. Instead of jumping out of bed in a rush, take a few moments to set your intentions. What do you want to achieve today? How do you want to feel? This simple act of pausing and planning can steer your day in a positive direction. Another key element is practicing gratitude. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to overlook the blessings we have. Take a moment each day to reflect on what you're thankful for. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, the smile of a loved one, or the comfort of your home. Acknowledging these small joys can shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Positive self-talk is also crucial. Be mindful of the words you use with yourself throughout the day. Replace critical or negative thoughts with affirming and encouraging ones. When you catch yourself slipping into self-doubt, gently remind yourself of your strengths and achievements. Remember, the way you talk to yourself matters. Setting small, achievable goals daily can also foster a winning attitude. These don't have to be monumental tasks. Something as simple as completing a work project, going for a walk, or even reading a chapter of a book count. The satisfaction of ticking off these tasks can give you a sense of accomplishment and propel you forward. It's also important to maintain a learner's mindset. Be open to new experiences and willing to learn from them. Each day brings new opportunities to grow and learn. Whether it's a new skill, a piece of knowledge, or an insight into your own character, Embrace the learning process. Exercise and physical activity play a vital role in cultivating a winning attitude. Physical health and mental health are closely linked. A short walk, a yoga session, or a workout can boost your mood, clear your mind, and energize you for the day ahead. Don't forget to practice kindness and empathy, not just towards others, but also towards yourself. Be as compassionate to yourself as you would be to a dear friend. This practice builds a foundation of internal strength and confidence. At the end of each day, take time to reflect. What went well? What could have been better? What did you learn? This reflection isn't about being hard on yourself. It's about recognizing your progress and areas for improvement. In the tapestry of life, our relationships and interactions with others form some of the most vibrant and meaningful threads. A winning attitude not only enriches our personal journey, but also significantly enhances our relationships and teamwork. This positive mindset can be the beacon that guides us in building strong, supportive, and fulfilling connections with those around us. Consider the power of positivity in relationships. 
When we approach our interactions with a positive attitude, we open doors to understanding and empathy. Positivity breeds an environment where communication flourishes, misunderstandings are resolved more easily, and connections are strengthened. It's like a warm, welcoming light that invites others to share, connect, and collaborate openly. Empathy is another crucial element. Understanding and sharing the feelings of others doesn't just deepen our connections. It also lays the foundation for trust and mutual respect. When we empathize, we step into another's shoes, see the world through their eyes, and in doing so, build a bridge of understanding. It's about listening not just to respond, but to understand, to feel what they feel and see what they see. In teamwork, a winning attitude manifests as collaboration and respect for diversity. Each team member brings unique strengths, perspectives, and ideas to the table. Valuing these differences, rather than seeing them as obstacles, can lead to innovative solutions and greater synergy. It's like a mosaic, different pieces coming together to create something beautiful and whole. Communication is the lifeblood of effective teamwork. With a winning attitude, Communication transcends mere exchange of words and becomes a tool for building understanding and alignment. It's about being clear, honest, and respectful in our interactions, ensuring that every voice is heard and valued. Resilience in relationships and teams is also key. Challenges and conflicts are inevitable, but a winning attitude helps us navigate these with grace and strength. It's about finding constructive ways to address issues focusing on solutions rather than problems, and emerging stronger from the challenges faced. Another aspect is the willingness to give and receive feedback. In a positive environment, feedback is a gift. It helps us grow, improve, and be better. It's about being open to receiving constructive criticism and also being willing to provide honest, helpful feedback to others, all in the spirit of mutual growth and improvement. Let's not forget the role of gratitude in relationships and teamwork, expressing appreciation for others, acknowledging their contributions and efforts, fosters a culture of respect and recognition. It's about celebrating successes, big and small, and showing genuine appreciation for the role each person plays. Moreover, a winning attitude in teamwork involves leading by example. It's about being a role model in positivity, work ethic, and collaboration. When you lead by example, you inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positive attitudes across the team. Lastly, maintaining a balance between personal and collective goals is crucial. It's about aligning individual aspirations with team objectives understanding that the success of the team elevates everyone. It's about creating an environment where everyone feels valued, understood, and we fostered these attitudes in our interactions. We not only enhance our personal well-being, but also contribute to a more harmonious, productive, and fulfilling collective experience. Let's remember, the quality of our lives is greatly influenced by the quality of our relationships. By cultivating a winning attitude, we not only elevate our own lives, but also enrich the lives of those around us. Let's strive to be the positive force in our relationships and teams, the one who uplifts, inspires, and brings out the best in everyone. In doing so, we create a legacy of positivity, collaboration, and mutual success. In life's grand journey, challenges are inevitable. They are the mountains we all must climb, the storms we must weather. But within these challenges lies the seed of growth, resilience. Resilience is not just the ability to withstand adversity. It's the power to turn these challenges into stepping stones for growth. It's the inner strength that allows us to emerge not just unscathed, but stronger and wiser from our struggles. Think of challenges as the universe's way of testing our resolve, our commitment to our dreams and goals. 
When faced with difficulty, we have two choices. To bow down and be overwhelmed or to stand up and face it head. It's in making the latter choice that we find our true strength. It's like forging steel, the fire makes it stronger. But how do we cultivate this resilience? First and foremost, it's about mindset. When confronted with a challenge, view it as an opportunity to learn, grow, and improve. It's about asking ourselves, what can this situation teach me? This shift in perspective can transform obstacles into opportunities. Another key aspect of resilience is embracing change. Change is constant, but our response to it defines our journey. It's about being adaptable, flexible, and open to new possibilities. When we embrace change, we open ourselves to new experiences and opportunities for growth. Let's also talk about the importance of support networks. No one goes through life alone. And in times of difficulty, it's crucial to lean on others. Whether it's family, friends, or colleagues, having a support system can provide the strength and encouragement needed to navigate through tough times. Self-care is an essential part of building resilience. This includes taking care of our physical health through exercise and nutrition, as well as our mental health through practices like mindfulness and meditation. A healthy body and mind are our greatest assets in facing life's challenges. Another component is the power of reflection. After facing a challenge, take time to reflect on what you've learned, how you've grown, and how you can apply these lessons in the future. Reflection turns experience into insight and wisdom. Let's not forget the value of persistence. The journey through adversity is often a marathon, not a sprint. It's about taking one step at a time, keeping our eyes on the goal and not giving up, even when the end seems far away. Optimism plays a crucial role too. It's about maintaining a hopeful outlook, believing that good things will come. This doesn't mean ignoring the reality of the situation, but choosing to focus on the potential for positive outcomes. Lastly, gratitude can be a powerful tool in building resilience. By being grateful, even in tough times, we shift our focus from what's going wrong to what's going right. Gratitude brings light into the darkest of situations. In summary, challenges are an integral part of life, but with resilience, we can not only overcome them, but also use them as catalysts for growth and development. It's about maintaining a positive mindset, embracing change, relying on our support networks, taking care of ourselves, reflecting on our experiences, persisting through difficulty, staying optimistic and practicing gratitude. As we face the challenges that life throws our way, let's remember that these are not just obstacles, but opportunities to test our resilience, to grow stronger, and to prove to ourselves what we are capable of. Let's approach each challenge with the knowledge that it is a chance to develop our character, to hone our skills, and to prepare ourselves for the next chapter in our life story. Let's remind ourselves that the most beautiful views come after the hardest climbs. Each challenge we overcome is a testament to our strength, a badge of honor that we carry with us into the future. So let us face each challenge with courage, embrace it with resilience, and move through it with the confidence that we are growing, learning, and becoming the best versions of ourselves. In doing so, we not only overcome the challenges themselves, but we also inspire those around us to do the same. We become beacons of hope and strength, showing that no matter the difficulty, we have the power within us to rise above and emerge victorious. The winding roads of life, the importance of a winning attitude becomes ever more apparent. This attitude, a blend of optimism, resilience, and determination isn't just beneficial in fleeting moments. Its effects are profound and long-lasting. The long-term benefits of a winning attitude are like the roots of a tree, providing a stable foundation for sustained growth and success. One of the most significant benefits of a winning attitude is enhanced resilience over time. 
Life, as we know, is unpredictable, filled with its fair share of ups and downs. A winning attitude arms us with the strength to face these challenges head on. It's like an inner armor that protects and strengthens us, allowing us to bounce back from setbacks more quickly and with greater resolve. Another lasting benefit is the development of a positive mindset. This isn't about ignoring life's problems, but rather about approaching them with a mindset that focuses on solutions and opportunities. Over time, this positive outlook becomes second nature, influencing all areas of our lives, from our personal relationships to our professional endeavors. It's the difference between seeing life as a series of insurmountable obstacles and viewing it as a path filled with opportunities for growth. Then there's the impact on personal and professional relationships. A winning attitude fosters positivity, empathy, and understanding qualities that are fundamental to building strong, healthy relationships. People are naturally drawn to those who exude positivity and confidence making a winning attitude an invaluable asset in both personal interactions and professional networking. In terms of personal growth, a winning attitude encourages a mindset of continuous learning and self-improvement. It propels us to seek new experiences, to learn from our mistakes, and to strive for personal excellence. Over time, this attitude cultivates a rich tapestry of knowledge and experience making us wiser, more rounded individuals. From a career perspective, a winning attitude can be a game changer. It leads to higher levels of motivation and commitment, driving us to pursue our goals with vigor and determination. This attitude often translates into better performance, increased productivity, and consequently, greater success in our professional endeavors. Furthermore, a winning attitude contributes significantly to our overall well-being and happiness by focusing on the positive, embracing challenges, and maintaining a resilient spirit. We enhance our mental and emotional health. This positive mental state, in turn, can lead to better physical health as stress and negativity are known contributors to various health issues. Another long-term benefit is the legacy we behind. Our attitude not only shapes our life, but also influences those around us. By embodying a winning attitude, we set a positive example for others, be it family, friends, or colleagues. We become a source of inspiration, encouraging others to adopt a similar outlook in their own lives. Lastly, a winning attitude opens the door to new possibilities and opportunities. When we approach life with optimism and confidence, we're more open to taking risks and seizing opportunities that we might otherwise have overlooked. This can lead to new adventures, new experiences, and paths we never thought possible. Lasting legacy to new opportunities. The impacts are profound and far-reaching. Cultivating a winning attitude is like planting a seed. With time, care, and persistence, it grows into a tree that stands tall and strong, weathering the storms and basking in the sunlight. Let us therefore embrace this winning attitude with open arms. Let us nurture it, cultivate it, and watch as it transforms our lives in the most beautiful and unexpected ways. Let's remember that the power to shape our future to create a life of fulfillment, success, and joy lies within us. With a winning attitude, there are no limits to what we can achieve, no dreams too far out of reach. So let us step forward into our futures with this winning attitude at the forefront, confident in the knowledge that it will guide us to greater heights, deeper connections, and a richer, more fulfilling life. Let's carry this attitude with us always knowing that it is the key to unlocking our full potential and achieving our greatest aspirations. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon today. We've explored the vast landscape of a winning attitude, uncovering the treasures that lie within its realms. 
This journey, rich in wisdom and insight, is not just about learning concepts. It's about transforming our lives. A winning attitude, as we've seen, is more than just a fleeting state of mind. It's a lifelong commitment, a way of being that influences every step we take, every decision we make. It's the compass that guides us through life storms and the light that shines on our path to success and fulfillment. Let's remember, the power of a winning attitude is not just in the grand gestures or the monumental achievements. It's in the small, everyday choices we make. It's in the way we choose to start our day, the manner in which we face our challenges, the resilience we show in the face of adversity, and the grace with which we handle our relationships. This winning attitude is not a gift bestowed upon a select few. It lies within each and every one of us waiting to be discovered and nurtured. It's a flame that can be kindled and kept burning through our actions, thoughts, and beliefs. It's an art that can be mastered with practice, patience, and perseverance. As we move forward, let's carry the lessons we've learned today in our hearts and minds. Let's be mindful of the impact our attitude has on our lives and on those around us. Let's strive to be the beacon of positivity, resilience, and strength, not just for ourselves, but for everyone whose lives we touch. Let's also be gentle with ourselves on this journey. There will be days when maintaining a winning attitude feels like an uphill battle. In those moments, let's remind ourselves that it's okay to falter, to feel unsure. What matters is that we pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and continue forward with renewed vigor and determination. In conclusion, developing and maintaining a winning attitude is one of the most rewarding endeavors we can undertake. It's a journey that leads to personal growth, enriches our relationships, enhances our career, and contributes to our overall well-being. So, let us step out into the world with this newfound wisdom, ready to face whatever comes our way with a winning attitude. Let's embrace each day as a new opportunity to grow, to learn, and to be the best versions of our Let's remember, in the grand symphony of life, our attitude is the music we play. It's the melody that dances through our days, the rhythm that drives our actions, and the harmony that brings peace to our hearts. With a winning attitude, we don't just navigate life. We sow through it, reaching heights we never thought possible and experiencing joys we never imagined.